Hello, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we are on our first proper trip out in our completed converted van, even though there's a couple of little minor jobs we still need to do. <laughs> Caveat. Um, yeah, so we need to get some shopping. We need some food. Yeah, a little bit of boring admin. Food, diesel, and then a special trip to buy something, which I'll tell you about in a minute when we come back from purchasing it. Winner, winner. So I made a small purchase. I've got some funky dunky socks, three pairs of. Got some um, dubbing for my new boots. And Charles bought herself a gilet because she can't go in a shop and not buy something. In two months time, um, eldest daughter and I, whose name I'm not allowed to mention, are doing a charity walk for our local hospital for the maternity suite to help fund and um, keep and build and maintain their services at the maternity ward for um, bereaved parents. Um, so it's a really um, important charity um, to our family. Um, so it's really, really, we're really great to be supporting it and to be um, helping out as best we can. So we're doing the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge. It's 24.1 miles, I think. Doing the three highest peaks in Yorkshire in one day. I have 12 hours maximum to complete it. We started doing a little bit of walking, a little bit of training, so yep, yeah, that's the reason for buying all this clubber and need to crack on do some training now. Hopefully that's also going to help with a little bit of the, the, the weight loss, not only me, but the van as well. So yeah, right, shopping's done. Now we need to go to Tesco's, get some food for this trip and um, fill it with some diesel as well. Let's get the show on the road. So the sun is currently shining, so we are going to head to the coast where it will be raining. Yeah, probably raining. Um, yeah, so we're going to head to Suffolk Way. Um, we've got some plans later on in the week that we need to be in that area for, um, so we're going to go and explore a bit of the coast we've not been to before. Um, currently saying two and a half hours for us. Oh so, no, two and a half hours normal driving. Mm -hmm. For us that's probably about three. Yeah, so we'll have a stop and some food along the way and uh, get there when we get there. No rush, chilled. Here she comes, our third wee since we parked here for ten minutes. All right. I was just saying how bad the road is. It's, it's not as bad as uh, uh, Old Bra. No, but it's pretty horrific. It'd be interesting to go back there because I know after we did our Old Bra video that um, someone said they had closed it and they were resurfacing it. Right. So we just stopped here briefly for a quick um, wee break. Stretch. Stretch and a bit of lunch. We're just off the A14 in sunny Suffolk and now we are heading to wherever we're heading to. It's all a bit weird because we still don't really have any plans. <laughs> we're just heading towards the Just heading the towards coast. the coast. Hopefully we'll stop before we hit the sea. Yeah.
we are at Dunwich. I'm sure, I'm sure it must be Dunwich, not Dunwich. Dunwich Heath National Trust property. But there's a building that says Sea Watch. What is that? I reckon you can watch the sea from it. Oh, what's that? It's creepy. It's like a creepy man. No, it's all about the Second World War, isn't it? Oh, great. Yes! I thought we were going to look at birds. If you've never heard of a thing called geocaching, basically it's using the millions and millions of pounds worth of satellites and engineering and development that we've put in and flown into space over the years to connect to your mobile phone and then you can go and hunt for a bit of plastic in a field in the middle of nowhere and for the privilege of that you um, write your name on a bit of paper and put it back in a big bit of plastic and hide it in the same spot so here you can see in front of me one in action. Have you found one yet? No, oh, because it's that way. Did we go the wrong way? Well, possibly. I need to look at my map in a minute. There's like a nice loop of them. Have we missed a load? Uh, no, because they're further inland. So we'll go that way. I haven't missed any. I just haven't found one yet. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Can we start converting another van instead? No, go out and find plastic in the woods. So, fun fact for you, as the resident historian stroke archaeologist, um, all across here during the Second World War um, was kind of well protected because we were, the British were concerned about the Germans landing here, it was a good landing spot with the cliffs and it's nice and wide, lots of space. So they built loads of um, defensive batteries and defensive um, features to try and prevent that and obviously kept a watch out 24-7. And then towards the end of the Second World War, with the V1 and V2 bombing, they built a load of defences to knock down the bombs as they were coming over, so to speak. And I think, from memory, well I read this anywhere, the defensive system saved around about a thousand bombs from going inland. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Anyone still awake after my fascinating fact? Now let's get back to looking for bits of plastic in a hedge. So now you'll see Cheryl with all her amazing navigation skills. We've got one, two, three, four, and the way we came, so technically five options. What's she gonna pick? Will uh, it be right? Say now in the comments down below, do you think we're gonna get lost? Or do you think we're gonna go the right way and find a bit of plastic? I think it's that way. Okay. If I was a betting man, I'd comment that you were gonna get lost. I'm not gonna get lost. Which one? Uh, that way. That, that, what's that way? Sort of go to like eleven o'clock. How far? Confident? Uh, eight hundred meters. Am I confident? Yeah. No. Okay. Let's switch to time lapse mode. <laughs> see if we find it or not. <laughs> I told you she gets lost. I'm not lost, I just can't find what we're looking for. <laughs> we're not lost, she just doesn't know where we are. No, I know where or we where are. Where we're going. We're in Suffolk. Or what we're aiming for. I know what we're aiming for. What are we aiming for? That way. So right, we'll find a different one. We're not finding that bit of plastic now. We're We've abandoned that, even though we didn't get lost and we could find it, but we couldn't find it. I'm now we're moving on to a different bit of plastic. <laughs> I mean, the excitement must be gripping. It's like a BBC drama. Free <laughs> parking. <laughs> so 
So the second geocache is now not being found either. Apparently, no, it's everyone else's fault apart from Cheryl's. <laughs> the, the path is shut. I mean, the path might be shut, but that's two, two you can't find. Oh, now we've got a dilemma. So there's one, two, three, four different ways to go this time. <laughs> Which one are we going for? Okay, please send help. Please, please someone send a helicopter or a search party or something just to find me. That'll be that'll be good. So if you commented in the comments that we were gonna get lost a few minutes ago, then or go the wrong way then and not have a clue where we're going, whatever you want to define as lost. Then you won, well done. Just tuning in. You got no idea, have you? No. I felt forty percent confident. Great. <laughs> I mean, we could be anywhere now. Who knows? We're still in Suffolk. Are we? Are you <laughs> sure about that? But just for the record, we haven't found any bits of plastic yet. Good things come to those who wait. Good things. Could be a treasure in there, you never know. It is a nice view though. Sort of. And then there, right over Cheryl's head. It's size well B, we think, or C. What are the nuclear power plants anyway? Got a bit of a green glow around it. Are you looking for a signal? No, taking a photo. And also, just for the record, so the third geocache we were trying to find, we've now missed as well. No, we haven't. I thought it was back there. No, the numbers are going up. Oh, I don't know. This is. So we've now walked about 8k, been gone an hour and a half, still haven't found any plastic, boots are getting broken in nicely though, so I was doing quite well with a bow back to walk this far. Do you reckon we're going to get back before dark? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty uh, summertime now. So we've got about another four hours to get back. <laughs> oh, You're so dramatic. Oh, we could go down here to find some plastic. Is there one down there? No. No, let's not go down there to find plastic then. Which way then? Huh? No, it's that way. So we might be on number five, the fifth one we haven't found. But we're gonna find this one. What makes you so confident? Because um, it's there. So again, what do you think? Let us I know think, in the comments. I think if we find one, fifth time lucky, we can then go and find the others. Well, we're not going back to find them for. Why? We haven't found them the first time. We're not gonna find them the rest of the time. Plus, I'd like to get back to the van before midnight. <laughs> We've now walked for two and a half hours, <laughs> done about 20k, got lost several times. Three search parties have been out to find us, but so far they haven't. But I don't know, know how we would know that. <laughs> but you know, that's how lost we've Hole been. In your story there, yeah. The girls are finding the wheels, they've written us off as dead. They're spending the money as we speak. Oh, money. <laughs> well, yeah. The Sold everything. <laughs> but apparently, we're going to find this one. We are. Mm. Feel it water. I, we're I, close. We're getting close, apparently. 300 meters away. Yeah, we've been 300 yeah. meters away from the last five and not found them. Mm. Uh, have we missed this one as well? No, no. You said 300 meters. Yeah, 296 now. Hang on a minute, we've walked about 500 metres and now we're 
<laughs> We've walked about 500 no. meters from being 300 no. meters away. No. And now we're 296 meters no. away. Does that mean we've missed no. another one? Are we now on to geocache number six? No, I just don't know which way it is. So for keep you updated, we've got a choice of that way, that way, or that way. This is the way we've just come. I'll just wait here for when she comes back. Are you sure? Seventy percent. Right, we're sixteen hours in now. Twenty meters to go. Tension is building. I don't know if it'd be on the path or off the path because it looks a bit blurry. Oh, I think I found it. You round of applause. <laughs> Found some Tupperware. <laughs> okay, 16 hours of searching, eight different attempts to find that. <laughs> a lunchbox with a green sticker. Let's see. What's inside? All the joy. Oh, look at the treasures. Oh, there's some mold. <laughs> Mouldy calendar trick thing oh, from Christmas like Cracker. Christmas cracker. A mystery calculator, isn't it? Cache yeah. log. There's a go. cache log. It's as soggy as a soggy thing. Nice bracelet. Oh. Some plastic tat. 5p. Golf tee. And a crayon. There you go, folks. So worth the wait, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, fun. <laughs> We've been gone for five hours. Well, longer than that. We've been gone for five days. Five days. Five months we've been missing. <laughs> five months. I don't know who's been posting the videos for us because we've been lost in the wilderness all that time. When we started this, I, had, I was clean shaven. I was only 21. Now I'm older. Quote, I think it's down there. I'll save you from this term, turmoil now and torment. But this one could be amazing. Torture that are going through. Could be. Could be. Um, so let's cut, let's cut back. So let's cut back now to us getting back to the van. We need to go to the van. Only, only I need to go through this misery. You don't have to. Yay, we're back. After being lost in the wilderness for six months. Right, we found three GI caches. And finding three out of 13 pieces of plastic. We didn't look for 13, we looked for eight and we found three. Terrible. So if you're Team Cheryl, comment below. Do you love the GO? If you're Team Cheryl, comment insane below. I love the GO. If you're Team Steve, say I am Boring. sane. We are sane people. We are not Fruit Loops who hunt for plastic or something along those lines. We all know who's going to win. Yay. Well, I found new storage for my flip flops <laughs> on the unfinished part of the van, but I'm not allowed to talk about that because the van is finished. Right, we are off to find a free park up. Um, couple in mind, so let's see where we end up. So we're at some weird old <laughs> railway <laughs> called Blythburgh, and um, it's on park for night, it's on search for sites. There's a little QR code so you can make a donation to the restoration. Um, but it's flat, it's level, there's a noisy road, but once we go to sleep, we ain't gonna hear it, are we? What have you discovered? It was not, so this railway station, or not big railway station, 
It was built in 1879 and closed in 1929 and it was demolished by the army in 1941 so the materials from it could contribute to the war effort. I mean, that's just for memory as being the Obviously. being the resident historian and arch archaeologist. I haven't just read it on this. No, side. no, 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 no. Done our exercise for the morning, feeling healthy and like we are righteous for the day. Decided not to stay there for breakfast, no particular reason, just wasn't quite hungry. So we've driven to our next, probably, town we're going to stay in tonight, which is Southwold. I don't know, you know. Cheryl's not sure. I mean, the weather isn't brilliant today, is it? No. I feel like we maybe should go and find an inside activity. She wants to find an inside activity. I, mean, I don't know why, look, it's beautiful. Beautiful British weather. Uh, by the way, that sign there says no overnight camping. We literally just got here two minutes ago. We're only staying for a bit because it's a bit freezing. But that's the view. Thought we'd park with a view for breakfast. And now I'm gonna um, shut the door so, that we, <laughs> so it's not so cold. Right, food time. Waste not, want not. Thank you very much for my breakfast. You're welcome. <sighs> Cheers. Right, what are we doing today? Well, as per usual, we've done the thing that we're really, really good at, which is getting to places incredibly early before anything's open and there's no actual normal people here. Um, the weather seems to be picking up a little bit. Or getting better a little bit. So I think we should, what time is it? <clears throat> Nearly 10 o'clock. We'll go to go to back down into Southwell by the pier. Mm-hmm. Just give my head up, I'm a bit tired. We'll um play some slots. Ooh. Try and win a giraffe for somebody. Um and then Dunno, your choice. Okay. Well, welcome to Southwell. <laughs> Cheryl's renting the dog, but she's too tight to insert the one pound. So for just demonstration purposes. Go for the easy option. You are now fully trained. Fully trained. Try a practice run. What's happening?
Welcome to the booth of truth. Her hand in the slot. No. As you gaze into the radio mirror, open your mind and feel its tranquil balls resonate with your entire body. Got yeah. unused capacity I, in my brain. You've never used any of it. And I'm creative. What's well, a bit creepy. Yeah. You have to put your hand in that slot. Ah. And it did lot of balls on it. <laughs> <laughs> After a bit of a not very nice start. Yeah, it was a bit wet. Though, a bit wet, a bit damp. Turned out alright, didn't it? Mm. So just parked at the uh, seaside here at Southwold. Thought I'd quick look at quick look at the solar and see how much we're putting in. So yeah, it was up to 500 a second ago. So around about f between 450 and 500 watts going in at the moment. So that ain't bad at all free energy whoop whoop whoo nice thank you very much solar panels thank you very much victron